All right, so we are going to find the distance between negative 3, 4, and 3, negative 2. We use this formula, uh, well, before we do that, let's go ahead and just graph these out and let's take a look at what this should look like. So we've got negative 3, go up to 4. Here's this point, and then I've got 3 negative 2. So here, here are my dots. I'm looking for the distance between these two points. So we use this formula that's actually based on the Pythagorean theorem, but you don't really need to think too much about it. When I put the points in, I just need to make sure to get the, the x's from one point and then the y's from the other point. Um, I'm just going to call this my first one. And this one, my second one. It doesn't actually matter which one you call which. And um, <clears throat> notice that this is actually in quadrant two. This one's in quadrant four. You'll have some questions about that on your homework, about location. Uh, this is quadrant one, and this is quadrant three. Of course, here's the origin in the middle, things like that. Uh, that you know from graphing. Uh, but back to the distance formula, we have, I'm just going to take my x's, that would be 3 minus 3 minus negative 3 plus negative 2 minus 4. We see that this is going to be 6 squared and this is negative 6 squared. <clears throat> so when we have this, this is going to be 36 plus 36, which is square root of 72. Now this is actually not good enough for our distance formula. We need to reduce this a little bit more. Um, I'm going to break this down into 36 times 2. Remember how we can separate radicals, and this is the way to do it. And so our best answer is 6 square roots of 2. Okay. The, the last thing we're going to do on this video is to find the midpoint. The midpoint is the average of the x's and the y's. So a completely different formula. You need to have these both memorized. Uh, in our case, we've got negative 3 plus 3 over 2, and 4 plus negative 2 over 2. So this one ends up giving us 0 over 2, which is then 0. This one ends up giving us 2 over 2, which is 1. So at 0, 1. Now if you take a look at our graph, that, that looks pretty good. Um, if I were using graph paper, it would be better. Thanks.